Ian, good morning. Good morning. How are you? So well. Thank you so much for doing this. What a pleasure. What an honor to get the chance to talk to you. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, stop it. Okay, so before we get into Kiss the Ground, which I'm very excited about, you got on my radar with Rules of Attraction, which I think was a movie that surprised a lot of people because it had all of these beautiful faces from things that we know that are super nice and very suburban, and then things took terrifying turns for all of these characters. Did you have any idea the kind of success and the following that Rules of Attraction would attract? You know, to be honest with you, I knew that when I signed on to do that film in 2000, it was only, I think, five and a half years after Roger Avery had won the Oscar with Quentin Tarantino. So <clears throat> we had an Oscar-winning writer uh, and a Brady Sinellis novel and a cast that was just out of this world. It was so unique and fun, and yes, it did. It took just some crazy turns, which was... Uh, what a what a jam! It was really special, and you know, unfortunately, that weekend that it opened was a huge box office weekend, and there were like twenty films that opened up, and none of them did very well. It was really wild, but the film obviously became a cult classic and actually did very well, you know, later on in its years. But what a what an unbelievable um, what an unbelievable ride that was! Really, it was it was really special to have that happen. You know, it, I think I was 20, 20, 21. To have that sort of, uh, you know, explosion at 21 was really amazing. We're here right now with um, a gentleman who has a, a movie coming out, Kiss the Ground, but it's not actually a movie. It's a documentary about climate change. Tell us a, a little bit about this. Give us a thumbnail. The thumbnail is the climate crisis is, a, is the greatest threat to humankind mm -hmm. uh, it is the, it's the greatest story of our time right it's the biggest it's the only crisis that you know listen social injustice and environmental injustice are tied together you know so uh how do we solve it well it's an immense amount to think about and a lot of times it just shuts us down sure this film this film gives a how-to solution-based not doom and gloom way to literally reverse climate change that's it by, by, by sequestering carp, by using large-scale agriculture uh, to regenerate the soil of the earth, the microbiome of the soil, which is just like the microbiome of our stomach, which is all our health. You know, the health of the human being is completely reliant on the health of the gut uh, and the microbiome of the gut. The same thing with the earth. The health of the earth, be it the oceans, lands, forests, trees, are completely reliant on the, the biome the health of healthy soil and this is a this is a solution to reversing climate change and that is in a nutshell i think the most powerful statement one could make and that's you know that's where that's 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 not only just reversing climate change but you know reviving farmer prosperity reducing flooding drought replenishing water sources you know producing oxygen where else have you heard such a one-two punch, you know, solution to the greatest existential threat of humankind? I think you're correct in saying that it becomes such a big issue, we almost can't fathom thinking about where to start, how to do it. But if we just realize where we went wrong, where we got cocky, then maybe we can go back and fix those things, which is, you're, you're right, the soil and the water. During the Industrial Revolution, you know, you had a lot of new output. Our carbon footprint changed exponentially. And so if we can learn from our mistakes, you're right, we can absolutely reverse this. But it's crazy that you're saying reverse it, actually not just fix it and stop it where it is and sort of slow the change. You're saying that it's possible to go back. It's, it's, it's not only possible and probable, but we are going to do it. We are going to go backwards. Um, we're going to go forward in society and science and social justice and environmental justice but we are going backwards uh, in reversing climate change and it doesn't matter this is not a politicized issue it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you sit on the science is the science and at the end of the day um what i've learned is is that never will you ever find any type of argument um, regardless of what side of the aisle you sit on, of 
protecting farmers, reviving their prosperity, and giving them the ability to be the champions of reversing climate change. Because, and moving into a world, not a sustainable world, into a regenerative world. And when every millennial and Gen Z demands that every piece of spinach they eat, every piece of broccoli they eat, every chickpea they eat, every kernel of corn that they eat come from a regenerative farm, the world would shift on its axis. You figure high schools, colleges, mall developments, airlines, sports arenas, you name it. Every major national um, food chain uh, and restaurant in the world. You, we can do this, and we are doing it. And it is the most, I'm, I've never been more proud of anything. This is literally the biggest uh, project film of my career and my life. And this is the one that actually will will make the change and um you know where else can you say hey listen let's reverse climate change let's produce oxygen let's um generate and protect and revitalize our fresh water supplies and um farmers are going to make more money how about that it's a win-win-win ian summerholder joins us right now couple remaining minutes you know him from um Vampire Diaries, which we didn't get an opportunity to talk about the possible... Well, I was hoping for the Vampire Diaries supernatural crossover that never happened, but was always hinted at. Um, and you've got this great new documentary coming out on Netflix, Kiss the Ground. What else do you have going on? Which I know is kind of a loaded question because a lot of things have been put on hold due to the virus and, and whatnot. But do you have some irons in the fire? We always love... I. I know that I'm speaking for my entire audience, but I love it when you are on screen. I'm like, I, I've never heard of this show, but I'm going to watch it because he's in it and he's fantastic. He doesn't make bad choices. So uh, anything, anything coming up? You are the best to say that. I mean, listen, I've, I've made a couple bad choices by accident that weren't my fault. Um, <laughs> I would never blame you. you no, know, I do. I have, a, I have a lot of irons in the fire. Um, there's some very amazing television development going on, you know, all based in truth. Um, you know, Paul Wesley and I have this bourbon company that is about to scale on a global level that is, I say this in all humility, but like I say with Kiss the Ground, and I know this film will change the way the world uh, sees, sees climate change in agriculture and itself. But this bourbon company is going to change the way things are done in the spirits business. This is a big, global, uh, unbelievable company that, again, is a, a legacy piece. The, the amount of good that this company will do. And then I have another company, which is a nutraceuticals company that I've built over the last three and a half years. Um, we're actually launching in China in about eight days. Um, China first, because scalability there is just unmatched. But it's a, you know, it's a health drink that I've developed for myself and realized, why am I not putting this on the market? And so other than raising a child, running two companies, and launching this film while developing my other projects, you know, it is a crazy, you know, up at 4.30 a.m., in bed by 11.30 or midnight every night. It is that kind of, that's been the last six months of my life, and I love every second of it, and I'm beyond grateful to be doing all of this, and I cannot wait for the world to meet Kiss the Ground and meet Brothers Bond Bourbon and meet Immortal Ritual, my company, and uh, see these new projects that are going to take a great amount of development but are going to be very powerful. Well, I would tell you good luck going forward, but you've never needed it. Ian Summerholder, the new movie is Kiss the Ground. It is on Netflix. Thank you so much, Ian, for joining us. Don't be a stranger. I cannot thank you enough. Have a great, great day, and we talk about this soon, and I can't wait to hear what you think about the film.